I won a pageant called Mr. Bear Los Angeles. For those who don't know what that is, it's basically Miss America, except for gay men who own CPAP machines. <laughs> <laughs> I have people calling me, texting me, congratulating me. And then my father calls me. He says, Marquise, this is your father. <laughs> you know that you're in for a sh show when your father reminds you how you two know each other. <laughs> he says, Marquise, why were you on stage shirtless with other shirtless men? You're looking big lately. Oh. Oh. I try to explain, you know, this is about like charity and giving back to the community. You know, it's about like big men, but it's about uplifting the community at large, literally. Uh. <laughs> he says, Marquise, you know, at 25 years of age, I came from Jamaica, met your mother, I enlisted in the army, I was immediately stationed in Korea. I did not know whether I was gonna live or die. All I could hope was that I could make it back to the US so I can marry your mother, get citizenship, and have a better life for my kid. That's what I was doing at 25. You, at 25, Marquise, just won an award for being the fattest man in Los Angeles. <laughs> Jamaican parents do not speak nuance.